Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Great Wall of China. I come on the left hand side and I put three fingers and at the top I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line to the bottom. Now I come over on the right hand side, I put three fingers, put a dot, and from there I'm going to draw on the right curve line, curve line, curve line off the page. Okay, I come up and I put three fingers again and this time I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, straight line connect. On top of that I'm going to draw straight line up, in, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, connect. Right underneath I'm going to put a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, connect. On the left hand side I draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line connect. On the right hand side I draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line connect. Now I'm going to put three fingers up and put another dot and I'm going to draw again straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, straight line over, connect, and on top I'm going to do my crenellated top, straight line up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, and connect. Right in the center I draw a straight line, curve line, connect. On the left, straight line up, curve line over, straight line, connect. On the right, straight line up, straight line over, connect. Okay, if you have room at the very top, we're just going to put a dot, we're going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line up, straight line over, connect. We're going to do our crenellated, that's what this is, top, straight line up, over, in, up, over, up, over, up, over, connect, straight line up, curve line, straight line down, connect, on the left, straight line up, over, connect, on the right, straight line up, curve line over, connect. Okay, starting at the top. Right here on this corner I draw a curve line down, connect, I come back up to the dot and I mean the top a little bit over and I'm going to draw a curve line, connect. Now I come down to this bottom corner and I draw a curve line down, connect, a little bit over, draw another curve line down, connect. Now I come down to this corner and I draw a big curve line down off the page, come back up a little bit and draw another big curve line down off the page. Now I come back to the top and I'm going to draw a curve line down, connect, then I come back to this section and I draw a curve line down, connect. Then I come down to this section and I draw a curve line out, down, connect. I come back up to this section on the top. On the inside I'm going to draw, I'm mimicking that line again, connect. I come on this section on the inside, draw another curve line down. 
and now on the inside on this one I mimic this line also come down curve line connect okay now come all the way back up to the top and watch what I do I draw a big curve line curve line keep going curve line connect on the left and now on the right watch what I do I come up to the top and I'm going to draw a curve line down leave it floating come up to this section right here and draw a straight line down and leave it floating and now come over here and we're just going to draw curve line up curve line come over here curve line up curve line curve line curve line and now come up on this side and draw a curve line curve line curve line connect okay now we are going to come down here on the left on this corner and we're just going to draw a straight line down connect I think that's all there that's all there and now we're going to start filling in the top part so we're going to draw slightly curved lines on this section now this is because the wall is broken up into sections with these guard houses or posts I should say and each one is the same as the other one but it's curvy landscape so you've got all these rails and bricks going up and over all the way up and over on both sides top and bottom now this will be easier to figure out what we're doing once we start coloring now in this space right here I'm just going to draw one two straight lines on this space right here I'm going to draw one two three straight lines and down here on this space I'm going to draw one two straight lines now this is the road I'm just going to draw a slightly wavy line one two three come up slightly wavy line one two three come up slightly wavy line one two and three okay one more thing this still has to continue so we're just going to draw a curve line up and over curve line up and over in this section also let's just put a curve line curve line one two so that's a continuation little curve lines of the wall um, I'm gonna leave that I think okay now here's a curve line floating so I'm just gonna add one look around I think that's all okay let's see how we're gonna color this in okay this is one of those instances where it's way easier to see what you just drew when you color it in so the first thing I'm going to do is take my yellow and I'm going to color the top bricks of the wall all the way up yellow so that I can see what I have drawn so first I do the right hand side now I'm going to come down and I do the left hand side and I'm doing yellow because I'm going to double color and I want to make sure I can see what I'm doing jump over and do this section of the wall all the way down yellow okay now I come back up and I'm going to color the face of these stations I'm going to color these yellow again so that I can see oops I forgot my crenellated do the little up down over up down over up down over top and again I'm doing this so that I can see what it is I just drew because otherwise it gets real wackadoodle it gets very confusing so there's my yellow okay next I am going to take my black 
and these are my openings. So I'm going to color this black, this black, come up, this black, this black. You're going to do a better job than me. I'm just putting the color down so you can see it. And this black and this black. Then I am still going to come in and now I'm going to do this section yellow, this section yellow, and this section down here yellow. Okay? Now I come in with my brown. And this is how I double color. I double color the faces of the guards. I do the top part of the bricks real light. Double color, double color. Okay, real light, real light. Double color, double color. Real light, real light. And this real light, real light. This is also double color. And this is also double color. So you've got the yellow, you've got the brown. Okay? Then, with just the brown, I come in and I do the actual road. And this is all just going to be brown, jump over, brown, jump over, brown, and let's put this brown up here, okay? Alright, now I can kind of see what I've done, what I've drawn. So now I'm going to come in with my black, whoops, wrong color, that's blue, hello. I'm going to come in with my black and just do a couple of lines of black, not too much, just a couple, just a couple, put a couple on the wall, a couple on the wall. Next, green, all of this is green, all of these curved lines, curved lines, oops I forgot this part, this should be yellow and brown, sorry. See, you miss these little spaces until you start coloring. Then you go, whoops, there it is. Okay, this is all green. This is all green, green, green. All of this is green. So the, the Great Wall is like nestled in between all this greenery. High up, it's big, goes on forever. And then for my last thing, I just put some blue stripes in the background so you know that sky. You can add your own background. This is what I do. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, this is my Great Wall of China all colored in. This is a good example also of foreground, middle ground, and background. Okay, bye-bye.